Zakia, would you think that it was the intention which was wrong? They really didn't mean to suggest that uh, women or groups of girls or women should not be allowed to enter Jama Masjid. They got, they were, intentions were right, but they got it wrong in terms of the language of it. You see, the question is about the mindsets. But before coming to that, Priti, with your permission, I would like to uh, say that I disagree with Rahul because several places of worship are administered by charitable trusts which are registered under the Public Charitable Trust Act. And they are places of worship. They belong to devotees, no doubt. But who are the devotees? The devotees are the public. So any believer or any devout who believes in, in, to, uh, in, in Allah and goes to mosque to offer a namaz is a devout. And he or she are also members of the public. Uh, here the problem is that uh, even if videography was happening or some, some kind of behavior was taking place which is unacceptable in a place of worship, how did the uh, Jama Masjid Trust arrive at the conclusion that mm -hmm. women are to be blamed for that? And how did they, how did they sort of uh, you know, make it bold to ban women and by, by blaming the women as though by banning women from coming alone? the acts of uh, uh, videography or something else that the, the, the spokesperson was saying that you know young people talking and meeting each other how do you decide how do you put the blame on women always so that's the problem that's a question of mindset because uh, Rahul Ishwar again again may not agree but a lot of men of religion are of the mindset that they are they have the sole prerogative over religion administer over administering religious places and they are they are very clear in their minds that women have no place there so so that's this is a misogynist mindset pretty the misogynist mindset that mm -hmm. you were referring to is illustrated here because there even as i grant that there may be problems in administering the place of worship which is a public place how do you come to the conclusion that women are at the root of those problems and by banning them you decide you you feel that you will be able to resolve that problem so it's a question of a mindset and this is a very discriminatory mindset it goes against the basic tenets of our religion it also goes against the principles of the constitution so so that is there is a big problem you know religion god has created men and women both how do the men of the world, men of, uh, religious men of the world decide that God has created them more equal than the women? How do, who gave them this authority to decide? So, so, so this is not acceptable. This logic put further that the men of religion are entitled solely mm -hmm. and to frame all the rules and bar women from places of worship. This logic is not acceptable. This logic is not acceptable to believing women. I'm talking as a believing woman. I'm not talking as a secular feminist here. Well, you know, I yes. would think, I, I get what you're saying, but Zakia, you know, somewhere down the line, it's okay to be a believer and a secular and a feminist with that. Yes. And I'm sad course, that you course. actually have to define that line, uh, you know, right now. But Rahul Iswar, you wanted to come in. Go ahead. Just what what is it that you have to say? Just one quick submission. I'm a male right activist. I'm a believing conservative person. But at the same point of time, I agree with Sakya, ma'am. Yes, there has been strands of male chauvinism in belief. Yes, we need to guard against this. Uh, you know, God has created both male and female and they should have equal respect and dignity. At the same point of time, every religion has very nuances in practices. Unless we go into it, we won't get the gist of it. For example, in Shabarimala, there is only young woman regulation because the DT is a Naishtika Brahmachari. And the second point, please remember, it's a constitutionally well settled position that temple or mosque is not a public place. Please remember we cannot overstretch a particular word. Temple belongs to or masjid or mosque or church belong to the devotees. Devotees may be public but every public doesn't have a right over a temple or a masjid. So constitution so and the various... The Java Masjid Rahul is also a big, it's, you know, it's, it's a heritage it's site, it's a big tourist spot as well. Yeah, but there are a lot said. of people who come from across the world to come and visit us as a heritage Mughal monument. Yes, yes Preeti ji, that's true. Tourism, heritage and things are there. Nobody is denying. But at the soul of it, at the core of it, at the foundational base of it, it's a spiritual place which has some sanctity to it. So the core is spirituality. It is not like a tourist place alone. It is not like a heritage place alone. It's a thriving mosque which has Islamic practices. Similarly, every temple or church, it's a practicing mosque. So if you should respect that particular sentiment. Unless well, you should respect. I, okay, I would reckon one should respect those sentiments but not be discriminatory, which these posters were clearly discriminatory. Mr. Uh, Abbas, you want to come and make a point? Go ahead, sir. Yes. Uh, firstly, uh, Preeti ji, 
with all due respect it was absolutely a wrong attribution that you made towards me that's Sir, an absolute lie i will lie. still that's make it fair. and i will still make no. it and we'll have a conversation later because kindly otherwise you wouldn't have been a guest tonight it. i never changed my stance Sir, if you want to fight with me then thank you we will have this conversation which offline i did not Sir, we'll have this conversation sorry, offline. Not, you wouldn't have made it to the panel because you made it to I the panel by suggesting the that you completely agree with what has gone down in terms of these posters. That is what you agreed to. That's why you are here. But we are glad as a panel that you've decided to change your mind. Uh, Zakia Sobhan, I, I want to... Okay, sir, is there anything else you want to add to it? Certainly, yes. Uh, I'd like to re-isolate my point which I mean. Please re Which is of, this is the place of worship. This is the place of worship where you, uh, you know, beat a girl, a boy or anybody. You know, it's not a place to make videos and all of that. There are respective places, the places of worship okay. comes with that dignity and decorum. So we need to keep it apart. And with respect to, like I mentioned about Holy Kaaba, that is where every Indian or Muslim need to take siege, where both equally are allowed, the men and the women, okay. to practice. And that, that has been my point stand throughout Sacrosanct. Okay. Thank you. We respect your point of view. Uh, you know, Zakia, I'll, I'll give you the last word on this because going ahead for somebody, uh, you know, as a collective group who fought for Haji Ali, for women to enter, do you see this at least as, a, you know, a big leap from there on? Because what we are given to understand is this order has been revoked. Yeah, so, so if it has been revoked, then it's a welcome development. Uh, they have realized that, you know, they were, they were not correct in, in the first place in issuing this order. But I uh, really uh, hope that, you know, in future also they would desist from these kind of actions, not just this one trust, but I'm referring to several other, you know, places of uh, religious uh, worship. Uh, because fundamentally, fundamentally the mindset is that these are places men uh, spaces and women need to worship from within the four walls right. of the home so that's a problematic uh, question and apart from being a place of worship uh, priti jama masjid is also a historical monument yes so any 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 visitor is you know equally entitled to visit it of course they will all follow the rules uh, right. whatever rules which are you know acceptable right. Uh, rules in a, in a civilized society acceptable by the constitution, they will all be bound by those rules. But they cannot, uh, you know, issue such arbitrary diktats right. and bar. Okay. 